man out here getting done back. <laughs> All right, so I wanted you guys to see this. This way we can validate the future screenshots that I am about to show in this very video. I remember last time when Black Sasuke and Young Shogun were reacting to some of my content. They went as far as to say that because I didn't include screenshots of Young Shogun in my comments being disrespectful far before he said, you better never mention me, that they wouldn't admit to it. Well, here we are with the screenshots. They tried to run to the paper shredder but I got that ass. So we're gonna look at this and now at this point, it's now validated. So any screenshots that I show in regards to this Facebook page, you now know was Black Sasuke. So him targeting people based on their religion, their faith, their beliefs, Black Sasuke, let's go. Now I've prepared a little slideshow for you guys that's gonna give you a rundown of some screenshots, giving you a gist of Black Sasuke's character. Now he is the leader of Kazama Nation and Young Shogun did come out to bat for Black Sasuke. Like Young Shogun said, Black Sasuke is something of an older brother to him and they are massively affiliated. Even by Black Sasuke's own words, he considers his community, Kazama Nation, to be something of a family, banded tight together. However, now that they are negatively mentioning four-year-old girls as a means of getting back at people for beating them in a Dragon Ball discussion, we can really start considering that affiliation relevant to some of the things that we can now see about Black Sasuke's character. Allow me to show you some more of these. Now, you've already seen and what you're looking at right now is Black Sasuke targeting, attacking, and openly disrespecting people based on their faith, their belief, and their religion. So check this out. And there, of course, is more to follow. Now, Black Sasuke called into question the nature of my character and my integrity. But here you can see Black Sasuke openly insulting and disrespecting a woman based on her faith, her beliefs, and her religion. Now he says, stop coming for me because you don't know it all. You're a person who uses stones for spiritual enchantments and stuff like that. And nowhere in scripture does it say anything about stones, so you really need to back off because you don't make sense at all coming for me. I don't debate with people like you at all. And in fact, I make fun of you type of people. Your so-called God means nothing to me. Whoa. Now, this is so egregious. This is offensive as hell, man. And this is the guy that we came across. This is very consistent with his actual character, you know, with, so you know, my entire experience with him. You arrive and he's disrespecting people's deaths. Right, he's using people's deaths for petty means. Like, like I said, when I seen him speaking about Toriyama's death, he stepped up to the podium. He said, "I'm glad to give you know send Toriyama off with my condolences, but that Dragon Ball Super nonsense stuff that you did was trash. I didn't like that. It messed some stuff up in the series. And even though you get in your wings, I'm gonna always keep it a band with you, and I'm not gonna lie to you. That was get him down from there." Because he was so caught up in arguing with the Dragon Ball Super fans. But to be so mad that you walk up to the podium while giving condolences that you start. Look, man, I had my criticisms about Gohan and I made multiple videos about it. But when Toriyama passed away, I made sure to not include hating on Gohan, to not include criticizing Gohan in my send off for Toriyama as it could be seen as a petty attempt to use his passings as a means to garner more attention toward, you know, my arguments with Gohan fans. And that is amazingly petty. That's disrespectful to his passing to use it as, you know, an opportunity for that. So when I said that it was disrespectful, I didn't say that he just outright called Toriyama out of his name, but I said that to use Toriyama's passing as a means to get even with, you know, a part of the fan base I thought was a bit disrespectful to it, to his passing. His tendency to call people abandoned, I first noticed when he called Glulicious Leach Johnson. His tendency to call other people sus, I noticed when he called the man Andrew Caldwell. And now all of that has gone out the window so that he can claim his feelings were hurt. He can't claim that while you're slinging all the offensive slanderous insults. I proved him so wrong about a discussion that his new mission has become to spin the narrative into something worse because he can't win any other way. But all one has to do is look at his community tab and you'll see that he's been slandering people with offensive insults nonstop. So let's remind him what his nature of roasting or even disagreeing with others has always been. Dreadfully offensive and cringe. Useless, ineffective, laugh worthy. Only to laugh at. And all I've done is refer to winning debates, but this is where I'll take on the school. 
in my head. As you can see from the last video on Dude and also with the screenshot with the arrows where I pointed on the picture with his thumbnail below. He then Googles the word laxative and posts the picture, further trying to connect it to something on a level more than Dragon Ball. So let me be clear. You not only got humble, but you gave up your entire shtick. And I'm sure. Now, in this particular screenshot, we got Black Sasuke asking people for money and asking people for help. So just to convey to you what type of trash individual this is, what type of character that he has or lack thereof. He says, he busts out the life alert button. <laughs> so your man's asking for help and he says, only to those who actually care about me, family or friends, mainly family. But if you're a friend of mine and you support me, then okay. So look y'all, as far as I'm concerned, I've done everything on my own. As far as getting my own place, my own car, I pay my own bills, I do everything on my own and have been for years. So I'm going to post these video clips to try and reach out to my family most of all. And most importantly, only family to be honest, but if you are so-called friend or whatever you claim yourself to be to me, or you support me in any positive thing that I do, then these clips are for you to tune in and listen to. So all I ask is for people with an open mind and open heart to listen to these videos. Thank you and comment, share, let people know if you can or have a good heart to do so to tell people in the family. I usually don't ask for help and I really don't like to ask for help, but just to see what happens, I'm going to put these posts up and leave it here and watch to see if somebody actually comes to try and judge me or have something negative to say or whatever. I'm going to sit back and watch what happens. Now, first off, he's essentially saying that, yes, I need help, but really I'm only asking for this so that I can filter out the people who want to judge me negatively. So what you're telling me is, is it's not really about you paying a bill that you severely need to pay. You're actually just fishing for negativity to live off of, feeding off of negativity. That's what you claim in the post anyway. Don't know if I believe that or not. Uh, in actuality, to me, it just sounds like you're having a hard time asking people for help, but at the same time are asking or demanding that people also not make you feel bad for asking for help. You're also ready to chastise the very people that you're asking for help upon the way that they give it to you, right? This is pretty pathetic in my opinion. In my opinion, my personal opinion. Now, after he busted out the life alert help button, he said, uh, let's, let's look at the first part. He says, only to the people that care about me, family or friends. But he, he says and repeats over and over, mainly family. But if you're a friend of mine, you support me, then okay. But later on, he also says that, you know, these were to reach out to his family most of all and most importantly only family to be honest so he does repeat himself over and over i think it's an issue that he may have uh but he always does it about what he's concerned about about what he's worried he'll get the negative views for um and the the worst part is that he emphasizes that he's done all of this on his own as a grown man as a father this is what we have to do you know, based upon integrity, this is what we have to do. Yes, you may have to do it on your own, but at the same time, you're also kind of rubbing that in people's faces and saying like, I've done all this on my own, so I am entitled to your help. I don't think so. And this is before he start wigging out, by the way. This is just him. This is the way he asks for help. And I already showed you guys uh, a, slight, a slight clip of, you know, him discussing, and I've got more of those, of him discussing the money that he needs and how he needs to help. And, you know, at the same time, telling people, don't come down here asking me or telling me why I ain't I doing it on my own and this, that, and the third. And a lot of his video was aimed at, you know, lashing out at the people who give him money because he's predicting the way that they'll give him money isn't in a way that that he'll enjoy and it's kind of like shut up man and allow somebody to help your ass check this out now that last screenshot was august 25th 2021 as of september 8th 2021 he says and I'll go to my grave with everything I said. And I'm not taking nothing back. I said because I'm real. I said what I meant and I said what I feel. And I'm not scared of nobody. And even if I was down there, I'll be this. I'll be this way to dare somebody to try to come. Come on, man. Shut up. But as you can see, even throughout the recent days following which he had been asking people for help. He was immediately posting things like this. Now, if you had given him help, you imagine how you would feel immediately seeing him keep this up as a consistency. He says, when you do me wrong or betray me or sneak diss me, just know I never did you wrong and trust me. The most high gonna make you come back to me and say something. And then
says, and this is the type of stuff he sends people to say to me that do me wrong when I don't even move funny out here like that. Therefore, not doing people wrong ain't in me. Okay, so so I guess he didn't follow that. He's basically wrote that out to say that not doing someone wrong isn't in me. So, I mean, I don't think that's what he meant, though. But he says, if I can't do it, I can't do it. If I ain't got it, I ain't got it. If alcohol make you act a certain way and causes you to do something wrong to me or disrespect me, then to me, that's the true you. He says, the you that'll do exactly what you did to get your ass, cut the, the F off. He says, next, let's line them up. I need more to show me their true colors so I can eradicate you out of my life. Okay, so he spelled that wrong, but whatever. He says, for good. And he says, this below is how your number going to look when you look up to try and hit me up after you do some. Yeah, so. All right, y'all. First off, let's address the elephant in the post. He's talking like he's harvesting and feeding off of people showing him their true color. So he's just searching for negativity at all times. You could be living your life. You know what I mean? You could be living your life laid up with your girl or something or whatever it is. You could be, you know, if you work hard in life, you could be enjoying the, the aspects of life that are there for your happiness, man. Instead of making, po you know, pitiful, pathetic posts like these. Where you're essentially admitting to fishing for negativity. And the worst part about it is this part that says the most high going to make you in, you know, uh, respect to what everybody believes. You know, I ain't got no disrespect about what anybody believes. I'm actually quite cool with, you know, people who, who have similar beliefs, actually. Uh, but, you know, and, and with people who don't, you know, but uh, the idea that he basically says the most high going to make you come back to me and say something it's kind of like when you do what I did, which is, you know, try to speak to him genuinely and say, hey, man, man to man, you know, I'm going to try to be the bigger person here and we can address what I did wrong and we can address, you know, what, you know, what I may have been able to handle, you know, better along with what I did wrong outright, you know, and I can say, hey, man, I apologize and you can address what you feel like you could have done better and what you did wrong. You know, and you can apologize for anything on the line and, you know, we can leave this conversation uh, looking toward something that will appease us both without disrespecting us both. Right. So that was basically what I attempted to do when I came to that conversation massively, genuinely, you know, in, in genuine energy with sincerity. And I spoke to him about some things that, you know, I could only speak about in maximum genuine energy and, and sincerity, you know, so. uh there's no question as as to that, you know, whether or not I came to the conversation genuinely on my behalf. But the problem is, is that if merely coming back to speak to this man satisfies some, you know, long lasting sense of a grudge that he has, which in another post, he admits that he's excellent at holding grudges, then damned if you do, damned if you don't. But man, oh man, is this bad. Now, Black Sasuke said, now, does anybody else want my attention? Because if you want some, I can sure give it to you. Like I said, since I'm disrespectful, and this is right after he was asking for help, right after somebody more than likely gave him money. He says, like I said, since I'm disrespectful and I don't listen, MFs want to talk mess and laugh like mess is funny. You really put yourself in something that you had nothing to do with, and by you inheriting beef, you got what you wanted. Since I'm so disrespectful, well, he's here now. Now y'all have a reason to say I am now. So what's up? Anybody got something to say or something they feel about me they want to say? He says, I got time today to address it before I leave my house to go chase a bag and pay my MF and bills that nobody don't help put in for. Like, come on, man. Nobody else is obligated to. 
He says, those that gave me, I never just sat there and never said thank you. And if you try and come for me, I'll go as far as show the post and screenshots of literally thanking everybody who helped. Rather, it was just a convo. I didn't pressure nobody to help me with nothing. And that's what I do now. Okay, so what you get out of this is multiple people reached out to him when he was asking for help. And he's essentially, you know, giving more attention to the people that didn't help him or the people that he's upset on. And he's kind of just sprinkling a little bit in the post, like for the people that was cool. And to them, they could kind of get tired of this. And they actually did. I actually have screenshots of many people close to him telling them to shut the hell up, right? Uh, and this is the reason why he then, you know, and talk about calling us, you know, saying that we started playing victim. Uh, he literally had people that was close to him that said, basically, that's what he does. All the victim posts and this, that and the third. And they even told him that he had to stop. And I mean, come on, man. Now, he says, uh, nobody's put nothing to y'all head and made y'all give me anything. And furthermore, now he says, you're not supposed to do stuff out of the kindness of your heart just to throw it up in somebody's face. That makes it look like you was just helping just to get paid back. And you're not going to get blessed like that at all. Now, here's the thing. How, how does lending somebody money just to get paid back help you? How does that help anyone? It doesn't help them temporarily leaves them a little bit broker at absolutely no interest absolutely nothing coming in it they have there's nothing in it for them to just lend you the money and get paid back this guy man is it's like and, and these are the posts that he's dropping in the middle of before and after asking people for help consistently if you remember he just had a a uh go fund me up basically a, a donation to uh, set up for his car and I even considered about donating at one point in time but then I started questioning whether or not the conversation that you know I, I, I started questioning this guy's character seriously seriously and then when the information was brought back to me like yeah he's done that about two three times in the past in just a span of a couple of years you know asked people to donate money for his his car issues but at the same time he kind of tries to g-check them at the same time asking them for money like don't even ask me why i ain't got it on my own don't ask me why i ain't doing this just get the money and to me that's that's insane yeah you might notice somebody is judging you you might notice somebody's feeling some type of way and you might think for a future reference i don't want to ask them no more I don't want to have to ask them no more, right? And even if they don't give it to you, you might still have those feelings. It is what it is, but you know that it was you that put yourself in that position by asking them for the money. Once you made that decision, you really should, you know, maintain some form of integrity. I mean, even if you catch them laughing at you like, oh, you need what? Oh, you need what? You still kind of got to have the bitter. You could still be like, oh, man, F y'all. You know, if you felt like that. But you still kind of got to have some integrity about the fact that you asked them for money. You can't just totally crash out. Or it, it's at least going to make you look bad. That's the least it's going to do. Now, I actually relate with not wanting to ask nobody for no help. But. When you look at him asking for help constantly and look at the way that he. And like I said, I've even got screenshots of the people closest to him telling him, shut the hell up and stop posting like this. You making us look bad. And we losing respect for you. And it's the people that were losing respect for him. It seems that he started stripping out of his life and making these posts about him. And it's, it, it started outweighing the needs that he was actually trying to fulfill and asking for help. It started being more important than the things he needed the money for, the things he was asking for help for. Much like how we started talking about Dragon Ball and I blew him out the water with Dragon Ball information. And then I explained why I thought that his post, you know, kind of using Toriyama's death to get one final dig at Dragon Ball Super. You know, he was in his versus Dragon Ball Super tirade. And I said, ah, man, you're going to use that as an opportunity to uh -huh, we'll keep it. Even though I'm going to give you your wings, you get up to the podium and 
still slide it in in your condolence speech. Yeah. <laughs> the Dragon Ball Super Sucks. Yeah. Like, chill out. You know what I mean? Oh, that Dragon Ball Super nonsense you made messed up the series real bad. And blah, blah, blah. And it's like, oh, man, we didn't really think you were going to stoop so low to do it in the same condolence speech. Like, that's all. And I said, I thought it was distasteful. Next thing you know, he was trying to roast me for two hours. And then when I responded back with a couple of minute videos, he was like, whoa, foul on the plate. I don't want to roast no more. You win. You win. But at the same time, though, he, he also slid it in like, oh, you talk about his Dragon Ball, you lame. I don't care about Dragon Ball. Nobody around me care about Dragon Ball. And so in my video, I pointed out like, what are you talking about? The dudes that you had making like number three content, he made a whole video on me. He's in Kazamination. And he's, you know, he took that down, of course, because he knew it would have got cooked. Like I could cook that track he came out with. But shout out to him. I actually think as a person, he might be one of the coolest ones out of all y'all. For real, number three content might be one of the coolest ones out of all y'all. But it's whatever. He made a video on me and young, young Shogun was in my comments. You know what I mean? Throwing around pom poms and, and you know, on, on behalf of uh, Nigga Sasuke. And this, uh, you know, uh, along this point in time is where it's like y'all was already trying to run down on me on behalf of what I said about Dragon Ball. Once you lost, you tried to make it seem like, oh, it's not Dragon Ball. And this is the reason why I still consider this a Dragon Ball discussion, because I never left it. Now, in that conversation where I blew him out the water and he said that you lame because all you talk about is Dragon Ball. I said, what are you talking about? The guys that's been trying to defend you on your team have Dragon Ball profiles and Dragon Ball banners. <laughs> Stop the cap. At which point young Shogun came out there still before he could even get the pom poms off, before he could get the uniform off. He was like, don't you ever mention me. And I didn't respect it because I was like, hold up. That's so Raven flashback all the way to his community post tab where he's in there like artwork by yours truly. And it's the thumbnail they used for, you know, Black Sasuke's roast of me with my icon in the trash cans. And I'm like, so before I even really, 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 you know, like way back when, before I even actually seen that in your community tab, you had said this. You were already coming at me. I knew about the comments, but you were you were the designer of the thumbnail, which was trash, by the way, like pun intended. But come on for you to tell me that I can't mention you now just in saying that you have a Dragon Ball profile picture is like you're a sore, you're a sore loser. You all are sore losers. So he gets so mad. And then I find that conversation of him, you know, arguing about whether or not the androids were androids and, and he was totally wrong he was saying that the androids uh, were robots like android 16 and therefore they can't get stronger and dragon ball super messed that up and they just hell happened to be arguing with someone who i had gone back and forth with in the past about dragon ball and at that point in time is where i started cooking sasuke and started saying like no consistently i've always hey they're cooked Instead, I'm going to actually leave that part for the next video. In this screenshot, this continuation of the last one I was just showing you, he says, that makes it look like, well, we read that part. He says, so like I said, if you're going to come for me, best have facts, because that's how I'm going to handle you. You want to laugh like mess is funny and go talk and mess about me behind my back. Have fun, because when I find out what you said, I'm going to come confront you and let you know that mess stank and I smell you. Ain't nobody in this world that perfect. And that's on, right? I'm not going to say those words. I'm not going to, um, you know, he's basically putting it on everything that's important. Uh, he says, I promise y'all will never be around fake family love mess y'all on. And that's a promise is that what this statement proves is that this post right here is meant for his family, is meant for people who are extremely close to him, is meant for the, pe the very people that lent him money, is meant for the very people that told him, hey, brother, you got to keep it together. And there have been multiple people in these comments going from sisters to 
best friends to brothers to even his daddy telling him that he need to shut his ass up because he making them look bad and he making a fool of himself. So if you clicked up with somebody who would negatively mention my four-year-old daughter and say that I don't demand respect for my child and I look to you and say, hey, you got kids. How can you abide by that? How can you sign off on that with with a post endorsing it and and uh, the amount of respect that you gave that video saying you watched it five times It's a class A grade A USDA dub Oh, the cadence was great everything the facts were amazing But you for some reason tell me I'm wrong in assuming that you encouraged that part that mentioned my child You had no problem with the part that mentioned my child. So this is what I want to say. I want to say that um, Yes you were standing next to dude, you endorsed dude, y'all both collaborated and came up with this video and you endorsed it in collaboration with him, right? And even though you tried to separate yourself from the toxicity that is maliciously mentioning a four-year-old girl over a Dragon Ball discussion, we can still prove that you were hand in hand in it. And the fact that you have not separated with Young Shogun, you have not released any statement saying that you didn't like what Young Shogun said. And, you know, the only time that you ever said that was behind closed doors in that disingenuous conversation that you had with me. So I know that by now y'all probably ready to click away and leave the rest of this for a different video. So I am going to cut this video short, uh, but we are going to read the rest of this post. Goes on to say that ain't no such thing as family, and as for this one, on both sides, they play favorites, and I don't like that BS. Man, BS is literally your initials on YouTube. They only help who they feel is closer to them, or who literally kisses their asses, and I'm not. Don't come trying to call me now, because you could have done that before you weren't on my post talking mess. Once you turn your back on me, stay on gone. Simple as that, and if I die one day, most high forbid that day comes anytime soon, but don't be sitting there acting like you gave AF, and better yet, I don't want no effing funeral, because it's gonna be a lot of fake tears and fake MFs there that didn't give a F while I'm here now. So, much like what I was saying about his post about Toriyama, where he basically demanded that no one drop any tears for Toriyama because he considers it fake love if you didn't really know a person. And much like how I dropped in and said, hey man, that's not cool, man, don't say that. Just let the people express the themselves, how they want to express themselves. If there are uh, happening to be individuals who are faking, it's not worth it for you to point them out, especially not in a way that says everybody who doesn't know this person personally is is faking. That's that's not cool, man. There are a lot of people whose minds at the moment are a lot better than yours in comprehending that the presence of death is sad, and it might not hit you until later. Uh, plus, you don't know what is fueling the tears behind a person's eyes. Just like you couldn't make yourself cry, maybe they can't stop themselves from crying, and I just think it's a little bit ignorant. I just think it was a little distasteful to come out with that post after Toriyama had passed away. It's kind of like, dude, just accept the condolences and just allow people to wish well for his family, this, that, and third. But as you can see, Black Sasuke has always been more concerned with the negative energy. So now he's trying to spread this negative philosophy around where a few years ago, he was telling people he didn't want no funeral. He don't want nobody crying for him. But he's also, which is fine. That's on you. If you want to say that, however you deal with being sad, however you deal with people telling you about yourself, that's fine. But for you to spread this around onto somebody else and demand that nobody cry about somebody else, it's kind of like shut your ass up and take your ass home, man. Family. But I just wanted you guys to know that these were posts immediately after his friends and family gave him money. And even in response to these posts, his friends and family came out and told him he had a he had a female that basically told him bro I've got three kids I had absolutely nothing and I gave you my last this post offends me man and we just don't like it to which he basically told her I've got a real sister and I didn't need nothing from you consider yourself blocked asking for help in in, in uh punishing the people that helps him so when he says he keeps receipts, you deleted three Facebook profiles. Young Shogun snatched his Roshi profile picture down, took down the link to his Discord, privated his Instagram, and all of his other social medias. But these guys are talking about they keep receipts. Nigga, you ran to the paper shredder. Shut up.
asked him repeatedly to stop doing what he's doing. And he's brought it to YouTube where he can't stop doing it. He said, I was talking tough and then playing a victim. Look at him asking for money, then turning around and lashing out at the people who gave him money. Who's talking tough and playing victim? He came out with jokes for two hours and then started crying about four minutes, four minutes of retaliatory jokes. He didn't like that. So who's talking tough and playing victim? He sat up talking like he was going to cook people about Dragon Ball, got cooked and then said he didn't care about Dragon Ball. Nobody around him cared about Dragon Ball and this, that and the third. I pointed out that his friends were Dragon Ball enthusiasts with Dragon Ball profile pictures and Dragon Ball banners, including number three content along his team that made a video on me, Young Shogun, that jumped in my comments and designed the artwork and then eventually told me to never mention him again. When I pointed out that he had a Dragon Ball profile, oh, you better never mention me again. So then I brought out that conversation that he was losing about the android supposedly not being real people. Everybody knows they were Lapis and Lazuli. Like I said, I keep this conversation about Dragon Ball because that's what it is. It was about Dragon Ball. It's not on top of that, this is somebody who's actually of close relatance to him. Like this is a member of his family in some way, some form. And they say, you make your own problems by doing this right here. To which he responds, I'm used to people saying that instead of saying something positive. So thanks for telling me I'm making things worse. Like, perfect. Just what needs to be told. That's right. Thanks. That way you don't think I don't listen to you. I agree with you. So thanks for telling me this. I'm done. But you're right. But I'm through. I'm used to people saying what doesn't help me. Completely sassy. Saying that he's used to people telling him the same advice. Well, you're doing the same thing consistently it's a tendency it's a you know habitual tendency that you have that you're even doing now on youtube in your community posts but she responds she says don't do that because everybody's been trying to help you out everybody's been trying to help you out she says but they wouldn't want to help you if you keep running a facebook of all places with your personal business in all capital letters she then goes as far as to say, and don't say me nor anybody else hasn't tried to help you in any way because I've given you my last, knowing I don't have another job yet, plus having my three boys. And she comments again and says, I'm done here. To which another girl says, no comment from me. And he goes off on all of them. We could discuss this more in the next video. I'm going to let y'all go because I done kept y'all long enough. I just wanted y'all to know that I still have the mountain of screenshots that I promised that I had when these dudes continued to plow forth and continued to be disrespectful, said that they weren't taking down the video negatively mentioning my child. And then I turned around and saw him actually attacking a woman based on her religious beliefs. I have screenshots of him lashing out at the very people who gave him money and we have over three times that he's made gofundmes or requested donations or outright asked people for help i've had multiple videos of him asking people for help financially i need somebody else some family <laughs> to help me with, with this car i need somebody else some family to help me with, with this car <laughs> I need somebody else, some family, to help me with, with this car. Um. And I only thought that this was relevant because homeboy told me to get my money up. So 100%, this man is nothing but a walking hypocrite. Just a walking, the hypocrisy with every step. Let's go over it all, right? Talking about Dragon Ball, I dropped my opinion. He basically said something I thought was distasteful toward Toriyama's death. It used Toriyama's death to get back at the Dragon Ball Super fans. And he did that while he was giving the condolence speech. And I thought that was distasteful. Oh, I'm just, I'm a, even though you gone, you're getting your wings. I got to keep in the band with you. The Dragon Ball Super nonsense stuff was trash. You really messed some stuff up. And then get him down from there, like I said. What are you doing? Then his next post was literally lashing out, attacking the people who were crying over Toriyama so that was two posts consecutively and it just felt like he didn't have good intentions or there's no, it's too much of a coincidence that multiple posts come out distasteful and now as you can see this is a guy who literally told people that when he passes on he better not have no funeral because he don't want nobody giving him fake love so his warped views warped ass perspective on people showing respect 
his inability to understand when somebody is being genuinely sincere. Like in my video, when I mentioned that his friend passed on and I said, how can you not understand that people have empathy for these situations if you experience this you know the public screenshots he posted about it i said were sad and i gave a disclaimer asking all viewers to not laugh about that situation that it was serious i had nothing but respect and saying that i had even teared up upon seeing the screenshots and seeing the story he said nope i don't care because in the beginning of your video the the description is a disclaimer for satirical comedy i don't care that you stopped the video at that point and said this ain't that this is serious i don't care it's easier for me to use against you it's easier for me to act like i don't see your sincerity no you've been doing that all along lashing out at the people who lend it don't matter if somebody lend you money it don't matter if they're your family it don't matter if they're trying to build you up and give you good words it don't matter if they come to you man to man and have this conversation you know and that's why it's hilarious to me that he said talk tough and play victim when it's like you're doing that like it's a full-time job what are you talking about? You've got multiple people explaining to you that you're trash just based off of you continuing to do this. He wants to wallow in pity, pity himself and lash out at people. That's what he is. That's what your boy is. So like I said, in the next video, we're going to discuss all of this a lot more clearly. I would love to just leave it alone. But as long as these guys keep continuing to run their mouths, I'll continue to run mine. And uh, we'll take it from there.